welcome back to my channel single mom review if you would stop for one second look down below and click that subscribe word right next to that word is a little bell click on that bell and make sure that it's completely shaded in so that you get notifications anytime I do any video uploads and please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below you're especially gonna want to comment on this video because this is a snack box collab video and some of us will be having giveaways I know I am having a giveaway, so you're going to want to watch to the end of this video to see what is in my giveaway and what the secret word is for the giveaway. Sandra Brooks Brown, who sent a snack box to me, I sent a snack box to Jeans Junk, and Pat is the one from Bless GMP who organized this snack box collab, so huge shout out to Pat. It's a great group of ladies and I have enjoyed doing this snack box collab with them. So not to waste any time, let's get into my snack box because I love some snacks. Let's see. I'm fairly positive the majority of us ordered our snack boxes from Amazon because that was the fastest and most convenient way to get it done quickly. So that's what most of us did. Huge shout out to Sandra Brooks Brown for this wonderful box of snacks oh my gosh I, it's huge so let's see what I've got in here and you know me I'm gonna taste test all right the first thing is Utz baked cheddar cheese balls made with real cheese gluten-free so let's open them Those look pretty cheesy. Mm. Definitely a good cheese ball. Those are good. All right, next item is Stouffer's Animal Crackers, the original. They're low fat, zero grams trans fat, and zero M MG cholesterol. With the meat. The little animals. Do you remember eating these as a little kid and always having to look at what kind of animal it was first? Good old animal crackers. You just can't go wrong with those. Mm. Okay. Next thing, and I'm trying to go quickly. Utz Premium White Cheddar Popcorn. Tender Kernels with White Cheddar Cheese. Like this. That popcorn was really good. Like, really good. That's a good snack for me. Hmm. All right. Next thing. Utz Baked Cheddar Curls. Made with real cheese. Gluten-free. Let's try this. These look pretty cheesy, too. Mm. Those are good. Next item. Cheez-It Baked Snack Crackers. White cheddar. Made with 100% real cheese. Let's open these. Mm. You know, I really love the white cheddar. I mean, I love the cheddar cheese, period. But I recently had some other uh, crackers that were the white cheddar. I really like that flavoring. All right, next item. We are moving fast. 
Stouffer's Wales baked cheese crackers, cheddar cheese made with real cheese. A whale. Mm. Those whale crackers I've had before, I've had a couple of these things before, but they are a pretty good low fat snack. All right, next item Andy Caps. Taste the oven baked crunch cheddar fries flavored corn and potato snacks. Zero grams trans fat per serving. 2.5 grams saturated fat, 230 mg sodium, and less than 1 g total sugars. Let's see this. I haven't had these in a long, long time. Long time. Mm. You know what that remind me of? No, remind me of funyuns. The consistency reminds the texture and the consistency reminds me of funyuns. Mm. Those are good. Brought back memories of having them. The next item. Are, is the Pepperidge Farm Goldfish Baked Snack Crackers. Cheddar, 100% real cheese. Let's open these. Little goldfish, had some whales, and now I've got some goldfish. Mm. We do keep goldfish on hand usually here as a snack. So I have that quite often. All right, next next item. Okay, and these are Cheez-Its, but they're a different flavor. The last ones were white cheddar. Cheez-It baked snack crackers. This is the original flavor, made with 100% real cheese. Let's try these. Now that I can really decide if the white cheddar is my favorite. Not very good knowing that was kind of half. Mm. They both have a distinct taste. I do think the white cheddar is my favorite though. But these are good. I usually keep Cheez Its on hand too. All right, next item Stouffer's animal crackers, but these are iced. Zero grams trans fat and zero MG cholesterol. Now, I always like the iced animal crackers were my favorite. Let's see if they still are. They used to have little sprinkles on the icing. All right. Just that little taste is sweet. I don't know, it's pretty tight rice. I like the shortbread taste of the one without the icing, but I like the little of that too, but I think I'm gonna go with the original Animal Cracker. Maybe it's a different icing they use now, but I think I like the original one. All right, next item. Knott's Berry Farm, premium cookies, raspberry shortbread, no trans fat. And I don't think I've ever tried this, this before, so this is gonna be new for me. I love shortbread cookies. The 
the raspberry is not overpowering. It's just a little bit of sweet in there. You can taste a little bit of berry with that shortbread cookie. And that's really good. I've never had those before. And I don't eat a lot of raspberries, so I was kind of wondering. But those are really good. All right. Next item. These are Nabisco shortbread cookies, Lorna Dune. There's six cookies in here. Let's open these. I don't know that I've had these before. I've seen these a lot, but I don't know that I've had any. Got a little crumb here. All right. Those are good. I like a good shortbread cookie, as I was saying before. They're fairly plain, but definitely a little nice snack. I better eat something healthy after all this, right? All right, it's getting closer. Next item. Planter salted peanuts. And I know I love me some peanuts. Good old peanuts, salted peanuts. They're the best. Mm. I could eat those. Mm. Cause I'm a sweet person. I love me some sweet, but then I have to have a little salty afterwards. Perfect. Okay, next item. And there was actually two packages of the salted peanuts. All right, next item. The Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. Crispy Marshmallow Squares, Chocolatey Drizzle. Let's try this. My favorite Rice Krispie Treat like this is the chocolate, completely chocolate covered. All right, ready? Very moist. Mm. Very good. Great Rice Krispie Treat. Mm. All right. Next item, Quaker Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bar. Real chocolate chips, nine grams whole grain, no high fructose corn syrup. Let's open this. Granola bars are the best snack. Mm. Good old Quaker granola bar. They're good. All right. Next item is actually another one, but a different flavor. The Quaker Chewy Granola Bar, dark chunk, chocolate chunk, 10 grams whole, gra whole grains, no high fructose corn syrup, and this. No, we're going to see which one's my favorite. The chocolate chip or the dark chocolate chunk. Mm. I think the dark chocolate chunk. I've had the cho chocolate chunk before, but not the dark chocolate. But I like, I think, they think that I like that one a little better. 
All right, next item. This is a Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bar, Oats and Honey Granola Bars. And this is recyclable. And I, I do eat these a lot. Let's open these. If I'm trying to eat something low fat and I see these at a convenience store, I'll grab these. Okay, I'm just gonna eat a portion of this because these bars are like really big. All right, ready? I love the oats and honey flavor. All right, next item. Sunkissed Fruit Bites, a cooperative of family farms since 1893. And this is sour citrus. Our first ingredient is real fruit. 100% DV vitamin C, high in antioxidant, peanut and fat free, no high fructose corn syrup. There is lemon, orange, tangerine, and lime inside. Let's open these. I don't think I've ever tried the sour citrus. Oh, it's got the little sour coating on it. Hmm. All right, I think this is orange. Mm. I love, I love orange anything. And a little sour in it is really good. This is lime. Oh, the lime's good. Mmm. Okay, the last color that I said was orange, I think was tangerine. And this is the orange. The darker one is the orange. They're pretty similar. I am getting a little more orange aftertaste of that one. Mm. Lemon. I think my favorite was lime, actually. I and mean, usually orange is my favorite everything flavored. But I really like the lime. I think it was the extra punch or something. All right, next item. It's a different flavor. Sun-kissed fruit bites in Berries Blast. A cooperative at Family Farm since 1893. Our first ingredients are real fruit. 100% DV, vitamin C, high in antioxidant, peanut and fat free, no high fructose corn syrup. And this has cherry, blueberry, strawberry, and blackberry. Mmm, sound good. These are not the sour, so they shouldn't have the white coating on the outside. All right. This looks like cherry. Mm. That's good. That looks like blackberry. I love blackberry cobbler. Pretty good. Strawberry. And this is raspberry.
raspberry, and blackberry. To me, kind of tastes kind of similar. They definitely weren't as distinct as the sour citrus. So, next item is Mott's. Fruit flavored snacks, assorted fruit. Since 1842, my son likes these, um, these Mott's fruit snacks a lot. This is what his preference when he asks for fruit snacks. All right. Mm. I kind of know why. These kind of taste more like a gummy bear. They're not as tough consistency as a gummy bear, but I definitely think I like the flavoring of these better. I think the Mott's is definitely the favorite of, of the gummies. All right, next item. Airheads Cherry. I don't eat Airheads, but I'm going to give it a try just for you guys. I don't like the artificial taste of an Airhead. This is not my cup of tea. And my kids at school love them, but this is the Airheads in orange. Let's try this. I can still taste that artificial flavoring. The orange was a little better, but. Mm -mm. Airheads Blue Raspberry. Try this one. I just, it just tastes like fake candy. I don't like that. So, it wasn't anything that I couldn't eat, but I don't like it. Next thing is Twizzlers, strawberry flavored, and I love Twizzlers. This is one of my favorite candy snacks to keep in my purse. So, and I actually have four of them. I'm gonna try one of them. I'll buy these in the big packs. And my son loves them too. Mm. Can't go wrong with Twizzlers. Now, I don't like the cherry as much as I like the strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite. But I could just sit there and eat just Twizzlers all day long. Okay, last but not least, next item. Like M Aid, Fun Dip Candy, Cherry Yum, Diddly Dip. I don't eat Fun Dips, but just for you guys, I'm gonna try this. I, of course, I had them years ago when I was younger. Who didn't have a Fun Dip?
I think I'm gonna be done with candy for the day. Here's the little. I think I've had my fill of candy for the day. All right, you can see the little cherry in there. And what you do is you take this and you get it wet. You stick it in your candy and it comes back out with the candy coated. Straight sugar candy. Woo! And then it's still wet, so you dip it back in, you get more candy. Kids go nuts for fun dips. I've done Valentine fun dips with my kids before. They love them. And I actually have two of those. Last item is Life M Aid Fun Dip Candy Ras Apple Mat Magic Dip. So let's try this. Let's see if I like the cherry or the Ras Apple. I think it's raspberry and apple combined. All right, here's my dipstick. Dipstick. Here is the blue Raz Apple. Got it wet. Got me some coating on there. I think I like the Raz Apple better. Mmm, it's a little soury. I like that one. That one's my favorite of the fun dips. And that is it for my snack box. Can you believe I finally made it to the end? Since this video has taken so long, I'm gonna go over the giveaway rules for you and you are going to be still be commenting on this video. And I want you to tell me what your favorite snack was that I tried in this video. But I'm gonna show you the giveaway items in another in another video so that it doesn't take up more space on this video. Since everybody in the collab isn't having a giveaway, you only have to be subscribed to my channel publicly to be eligible for my giveaway. Usually if I'm in a collab and everybody's doing a giveaway, then, then you have to be subscribed to every channel. But in this case, not everybody was doing a giveaway. So in order to win my giveaway, you only have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a United States mailing address. Down in the description box, leave your email or your Instagram handle. And along with the secret word snack, S-N-A-C-K, snack. Just use it in a sentence down below in the comment section. And along with that, you can actually use it in the, my favorite snack item was out of the box. That's simple enough. YouTube is in no way affiliated with my giveaway. My giveaway will end on August the 2nd. On, on the evening of August the 2nd, I will upload a video showing me using the random comment picker to pick the winner. And then I will also come back after I verify that you're publicly subscribed to my channel. Then I will come back to this video and I will pin a comment down below of who the winner was. And then I'll also come back to the, and then I will also reply to your comment on this video. And I will personally email you or send you an Instagram message, depending on what you left down in the comments on how to get a hold of you. So I will try multiple ways to get in touch with you and let you know that you're the winner. The video link will be down in my description box. So you can go down there and click on that link and it will take you directly to the video which shows my giveaway items. And then also at the end of this video will be a card that is my giveaway item video. So you can click on the, that, that too and take you straight to where the giveaway items are. And if you don't wanna see what the giveaways items are, that is not required. It is just an additional video for those who do, who do like to see what's included in the giveaway. Huge shout out to Sandra Brooks Brown. I love my snack box. I had a ball taste testing this with you guys. That was the funnest part. And I will be talking to y'all again real soon. Bye.